Uh, hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, uh, today's topic is uh, a phrase, also known as uh, hemophrases or phrases only as well. Uh, but before that, uh, we need to know what is uh, a phrase. Now, a phrase is a medical procedure that involves removing whole blood from a donor or the patient and uh, separating the blood into the individual components. Uh, so that uh, one particular component can be removed and the remaining blood components then uh, are reintroduced back into the bloodstream of the patient or the donor. Uh, Aphrasis is used for the collection of donor blood components such as platelets or the plasma as well as uh, for the treatment of a certain medical condition in which uh, a part of the blood that contains disease uh, provoking uh, elements is removed. You know. Now, a phrase is also called uh, phrases or the hemophrases, and the terminology used may also be also reflect the component of the blood uh, that is uh, being removed. You know, uh, for example, uh, plasma phrases where the plasma is removed. You know, or the platelet phrases where the platelets is removed, or the leukocyte uh, or uh, leukophrases. You know, or the lymphophrases or the uh, erythrophrases where the red blood cells are removed. You know. So these are the different types of the uh, aphrases, you know. The total plasma exchange, uh, which is uh, means the removal of the plasma and replacement with uh, fresh frozen plasma, uh, can also be performed during the aphrases procedure. And uh, it's also used for the collection of the stem cells from the uh, peripheral plant. And the next question is how uh, this aphrases is uh, performed, you know. Well, all of these uh, uh, procedures, in, including uh, uh, involve like uh, directing the blood into the patient or the donor's vein through a tube to the machine, where the required component is separated, and the remaining blood, uh, the rest of the blood, is reintroduced to the bloodstream of the patient or the uh, donor. Now, the next thing is, what are the possible complications of the aphrasis. Well, the serious complications of the donor aphrasis are very rare, you know, and uh, more complications of the donor aphrasis can include like uh, bleeding at the uh, donation site and feeling of lightheadedness, you know, and that usually resolve uh, uh, within a short period of time, you know. And the more serious complications can occur when the uh, aphrasis is used uh, to treat the serious conditions uh, and include like uh, bleeding and the tendency to bleed or the infections or the tendency towards infection you know or the low blood pressure or the muscle cramping uh, as a low blood calcium occur and the electrolyte imbalance you know so this can cause the muscle cramping uh, the next thing is what uh, type of the diseases are uh, treated with the aphrasis uh, now, when used uh, in a therapeutic manner, the FSS procedure is individualized regarding the frequency of the treatments, volume of the blood and the components to be removed, and the type of the solution used uh, for the volume replacement. Now, FSS can be used to, in the treatment of like uh, uh, Amysthenia uh, graves are uh, well dense storms, uh, uh, macroglobulinemia, and uh, the good posture syndrome, or the familiar hypercholesterolemia, uh, or the hyperviscosity uh, syndrome, you know, or uh, uh, HEL LLP syndrome in, uh, of the pregnancy, you know are the clogging of the blood vessels known as uh, uh, leukostasis are the severely elevated platelet count uh, contents in leukemia you know and uh, it can also be performed uh, for, to treat the uh, systemic lupus or uh, uh, severe vesiculitis or uh, rheumatoid arthritis or dermos, uh, uh, derma, uh, you know and uh, uh, other diseases you know now, the next thing is what are the contraindications to the aphrasis? Now, the hemophrasis is gradually 
divided is generally divided if uh, a patient has active infection or unstable heart or the lung conditions and severely low white blood cells or the platelet counts you know now a bleeding tendency or a significantly low blood pressure so the overall status of the patient as well as the uh, seriousness and the progression of the disease in question uh, all are taken into account uh, to decide before the procedure has performed thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesandhuman.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day thank you and goodbye